Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is the almost 8 year old MSI Lightning GTX 275 and today we're unboxing it. Usually I buy an old car, chuck it in our test system and benchmark it, but I thought I'd introduce a new concept. When older legacy cars like this are found in their original packaging with accessories, I think it would be nice to unbox them as if they were new before making the usual follow up video with the benchmarks and the gameplay in a cool nostalgic look back sort of way because it seems Seems like a bit of a waste of a rare opportunity finding an old component like this in almost original condition plus it will be cool to see what you got in the box back in 2009 with this mid-range card so let's get to the unboxing and talk a little more about it so we'll start by taking the card out of the box and we'll take a more in-depth look at this later but this is one good looking card a shame the only thing we're missing here is the front of the box we didn't get that cool fancy little bit that will go over the the top with all the decent graphics on it but let's take all this packaging out and see what is underneath what sort of original accessories do we get well it actually looks like we've got pretty much everything except a couple of things this is the original user manual here with reviews from the previous card from MSI the GTX 260 as you can see Tom's hardware there complementing it there as well as hardware zone guru 3d motherboard.org and envision so there we have it, all the usual stuff in there as well as a couple of features of the 275. Here we've got the Molex 2 6 pin adapter in case you haven't got the two power connectors required to power this juicy card. This thing actually requires a 550 watt PSU and has a TDP of 219 watts although it is less powerful than the reference 275 graphics card so I guess that's a bonus although this thing does still use quite the bit of power. We've got a couple of odds and ends here that I'm not really sure the purpose for and a thermal right card which I don't think belongs in this box so it must have found its way in there when it was being dropped off at the shop by the previous user. We've also got another quick user guide here to uh, tell you a little bit more about the card as well as a couple of features. Um, as you can see it tells us what we've got, the HDMI, the DVI there, as well as DX10 support. Unfortunately that is where support for this card ends. It only goes up to DirectX 10.1 and so you won't be able to play all of the latest DX11 games on it. Here we have the MSI Afterburner driver and installation disc. I think this just came with the uh, original drivers and Afterburner here was also bundled on the disc so that you can install that too and overclock this card even more. Here we have another MSI Afterburner disc here, Lightning Afterburner. I'm not 100% sure of the purpose of that but I'm sure it just helps to overclock the card a little bit more as well. Although this does come overclocked from the factory, what with it being the MSI Lightning Edition. Last but not least in the box we've got yet another pamphlet. These things used to come with a lot more paperwork than they do now that's for sure with a little diagram of the card there telling you what everything does but I do really like the way these things came. Let's take another quick look at the card here and as you can see it is a very nice looking thing. We've got the HDMI, DVI and VGA connectors on the end there as well as the trademark MSI printed logo. Underneath you can see that lovely uh, heat pipe array there which again not too many cards come with these days if any. And the dual fan design with the twin Froza heat sink on the front right there. This is certainly one heavy card. If we flip it over we can see the power connectors, two six pins to power the... Uh, juicy 219 watt TDP card here and the SLI bridge port connector here. So there we have it in the next video I will be putting this card through its paces with a few benchmarks and I hope you guys can join me then so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.